Oh well, so here we are at Jones Avenue. Heading north. Yeah, that's bugging the hell out of me. This knapsack in my carry-on, and uh, doesn't let me get full extension when I have it underneath the seat like that. Hits my back of my leg. What's that called? I don't know. It's the opposite of the quad. So I'm wearing it on my back.
Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking sort of video point of views of the street okay. from the cyclist point of view. And uh, I usually I pick up on car cars making errors and driving, breaking laws, you know, little things. Yeah. Uh, just inconsiderate stuff, mainly. What's it for? I just put it up on my blog. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm learning video, so it's one thing I'm passionate about, so do that. Cool. And then more blogging after that. Yeah. Different topics. Interesting. <laughs> Have a good day. That was interesting, that's an off-duty cop uh, mining the construction there. Very nice guy. I should have asked him a question, do you ride? <laughs> Uh, I think I forgot to put the tape back on the audio aperture, so this is gonna sound like crap. You got a steady breeze, about seven clicks coming out of the east. So you probably can't hear me. La Greenwood Avenue. Nobody coming. Oops. That's called a bail. I'll stay inside the line. I can see the the car's point of view there full, fully, completely. I wasn't stopping at the four-way there. Or no, it was a two-way. He had right away. He'd already stopped because he saw me coming. And then I bailed in that little squiggly, that circle. And he's coming around the corner now, making a left. And uh, he thinks I'm he doesn't know where I'm going, right? Because he's never seen a guy bail like that, I guess. So doing a, a circle at an intersection is a little confusing for drivers. Sorry about that. But that would all be solved if bikes had right of way on this east-west route here, Strathmore. So it would be, the guy wants to make a turn west onto Strathmore. I, he knows I have yield right away. And uh, so no surprises, I hit the intersection, I sail on through. 
and uh, he knows I'm going to sail on through because he knows it's a cycleway because it's signed that way. Of course, uh, my detractors will say, yeah, but you're going through a far away. Well, if I had to stop at every four way here, I might as well go on Beth, on Danforth and risk death. And uh, most car drivers would agree that uh, less cyclists on Danforth would be a lot less stressful for them. If we can all just have this conversation in the public realm, it'd be great. I'm sure these would get switched to cycleways very quickly a lot of cyclists though they they don't want they, they I don't know when I say I want cycleways and I think off off major route cycleways are the best they say yeah but they we don't want to be banned from the major city you know the idea isn't to ban people from Danforth it's to offer a better alternative you know 25 yards to the north that's not going to be possible everywhere so cyclists are still going to take major routes but this one here is a really good example of how we can get cyclists off the Danforth in its busiest stretch from Woodbine to Broadview as I mentioned before in these videos three blocks north here is a street called Salmon Ave which uh, runs all the way from Cedarvale, one block east of Woodbine, all the way over to, I believe it's Pape, and then you take a jog into a series of neighborhood streets that should be also signed as a bikeway, and that gets you all the way to uh, Broadview, and a jog from there takes you to a street past west of Broadview that comes out right at the bridge abutments for the Bluer Danforth Bridge and where there are bike lanes. Now well, that takes care of uh, the neighborhood of commuter bicycles commuters north of the Danforth on on Toronto Danforth in the riding of Toronto Danforth now we just have to find one south for the south neighborhood Girard is a hellish one I haven't thought about that Ugh. The law says I'm supposed to get off the bike here because this is a walkway. But uh, we'll just drive really slow and not hit anybody. So, this is a schoolyard. And I can't remember the name right now. So uh, Woodbine to Cedarville and then through the walkway there and this gets you into the grid, into the street grid over here, otherwise there's no way through so Cedarville uh, doesn't have access to this grid that we're on now, it's some part of a traffic calming planning thing, there should be bike trails through there between this street and the next street over in Cedarville. So this street does connect to the grid east of Woodbine, back in here. And I'm heading up towards uh, Taylor Creek Park, up here uh, Main Street. and. Uh, so I'm zigzagging in these neighborhood streets here. And I'm gonna take a wrong way one way, which is gonna confuse the 
the driver behind me. This is the access way to the bridge. This should be two-way bicycle traffic. As I point, point where I'm going to go, the driver thinks I'm turning right gets the hell out of my way. I'm going the same direction they are. But if I point that way, they'll stop. And then I got a car on my ass who wants to pass me. Probably right at a stop sign, so I run into the back of them. So that's my, that's the way I avoid all that. But the two vehicles have different cruising speeds, radically different. And, and there's also the two coasters that if you get the, in front of the, bicycle it's safer it's not safer from my point of view and the only reason the car thinks it's safer is because they can't see you so well <laughs> reduced cruising speeds on the on the transmissions of our vehicles would uh, alleviate some of this but uh, GM Ford and those guys don't want to do anything to encourage bicycle riding they want this economy to be about two and three car, four car families. Everybody's got a TV to watch their GM commercials and everybody's got a car to drive to the showroom and get a new one. And die early of preventable disease. No signal here. I have no clue what he's doing. He seemed to go into the right turn swing there. So the no signal was that he was going straight, but all right, I'm gonna cheat. Taking the crosswalk. And I'll walk it in. I'm riding my one pedal side saddle. And here we are for uh, my sister's privacy. I'm gonna shut off here. Thanks for watching. I'll have to write the, all that stuff down in a in a video, I guess, in a, in, in words. Cause that's pretty well stated. Urban transportation policy and uh, this has been a video bike ride. Uh, see you on YouTube.